Here it is, boys and girls. Twisted Builds LLC Speedino. This one's built for LS. You could probably change it a little bit for other engines, but this one's kind of geared towards the LS platform. Has all the Speedino 04 circuits on it, plus a couple extra deals, uh, like this Wideband 02 controller. It has a built in uh, ULC chip that will run the like the tachometer output and the um, two stages of nitrous control relays and just other odds and ends that I have set up for it. Um, I have on here, because this is for an LS, I have selectable uh, jumpers for dioding the inputs for the cam and crank sensors. For the LS motors, you have to put diodes on them going into the Speedino. So these two actually right here, if this will focus, focus it's not going to focus this is my cheap iPhone so that might be Y oh, there you go so it has Y and N so Y is yes to diode and N is no then it's got the normal uh, V04 circuits for the Hall effect and VR inputs and the jumpers and 5 volt or 12 volt ignition output that's my Bluetooth input right here there's going to be a, um, every one of these I'm going to sell that are plug and play you'll be able to get them with Bluetooth. I might make it optional to make it a little cheaper, not sure yet. Uh, they'll all come equipped with the two and a half bar map input and also a map input you can get off of, um, you can wire into the connector. Um, all them offsets for the injector channels. As I said, we'll run um, 210 uh, Bosch fuel injectors with no issues whatsoever because they're a little bit lower resistance, they pull a little bit more amperage, like the micro squirts can't run them. These can run it no issue. So, um, gotta work on a case next. This was kind of step one. I need to uh, pretty much figure out how I'm getting that port. I'm gonna take that port and put on a, like a thread through barb that will be um, like jam nutted to the case, that way you don't have to worry about um, like pressing that barb on and off on the board because I, I have an MS2 board, Megasquirt 2, and it always scares me doing that because I always feel like I might break it. So I'm going to put a hose from here to the barb that's going to be mounted on the box and it's going to be very sturdy so that way you don't have to worry about it. Or you can, as I said, you can wire in a map sensor onto the connector. Um, and that one could be however many, I think it's like 7 bar or something ridiculous. Um... USB connector, no RN, or, yeah, RN, I think it's RN232, or, R, or, sorry, RS232 connector. This has a nice USB. And the plan is currently is to take this USB and run it into this 4-pin jumper, run it through that connector, and out. Um, still got to figure that out to make sure it's going to work. I'm going to check it on the bench first. Um... And then, after that, if it will work, it's just a matter of, is it going to get affected by, like, uh, radio frequency and whatnot. So that's something I need to prototype, and I only had five of these boards made for that reason. The other idea I had was to put, like, a rubber, a rubber grommet over top of the USB hole, because I want to make these waterproof. I want to be able to take this one, once I get it in an enclosure, and hit it with a pressure washer, and the engine stays running, no issues whatsoever. I wouldn't say they will be submersible proof. I wouldn't submerse these like mud bogger trucks or whatever. But I would say it would be definitely water resistant for sure. I mean, as I said, it's got the TE connectivities, waterproof connector. And um, it's all nice automotive grade. Each pin's rated up to 15 amps, which is way more than anything should be pulling on this board. And um, the, the USB connector, as I said, I'm thinking I may... I may put a hole in front of here and just you'll have to remove a rubber plug to tune it. I really, really want to pass it through this connector and that's what I'm going to try to do. Because if I can do that, um, everything will connect in here. You'll connect on the other side, um, bring the USB out and plug it into your computer and away you go. So, um, the only wires in this box, because everything's now on board, should be the USB connector and the Bluetooth. There'll be four wires for Bluetooth and there'll be the USB wire going over to these pins over here for now. Um, 
and that should be it and then obviously a hose going to the box but I'm excited it's finally done I get to start playing with it start testing it start um, durability testing it pretty much you know being very very harsh on it to make sure it's good because I don't want to sell a bad product but it's coming along guys this will be the one if everything goes good it's going in the S10 um, it's first going to run a test engine motor or a test stand engine which will be the S10 engine I'm going to put it on test stand because I need to make a test stand anyway and as I said in previous videos every one of these boards I'm going to make I'm going to flash them with a starter tune for an LS and I'm going to I'm going to get a junkyard engine to throw on that test stand and have it fire it off and make sure it runs good before they ship out. That way you know for sure if it's one that I'm going to sell that's assembled and ready to go, I know for sure at the time of shipping that thing is good to go. Along with the harness also which will be plug and play because I mean, I've got a good harness company that's going to be making these but you never know we're all human stuff happens. I just want to make sure every harness going out has been tested and ready to go. So, and that is how I'm going to do it. I may even get fancy and like take video of every one I do and then email the video to the customer. Not sure yet. I'll figure it out. I think that'd be kind of a cool thing. But that way you kind of have peace of mind of the one you're getting has been tested. Everything works. Um, I'll like maybe on the test bench wire up all the features, test everything, make sure everything works before it ships out. So. But anyway, that is the progress on the Twisted Builds Speedino. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Um, I am getting close to 1,000 subscribers, which is insanity for me. I never thought this would go that far. I'm very, very happy, guys. Thank you for everyone who subscribed. And if you like these videos, as I said, and you're new, please subscribe. Please like, comment, tell me what you think. Um, eventually... Another thing that's on this is eventually a lot of these components, like right now, they are solder on board. Eventually, I'm going to go um, uh, like pre-made um, uh, surface mount component stuff and have the boards pre-made. But for right now, just for testing, I'm making these. These, once I also get them proved out and get instructions and everything made, you'll be able to buy these as a DIY kit so you can solder everything together and, uh, and roll with it. Or you can buy them assembled. That's my plan. So, as I said, thank you for watching. And have a good one.